somebody. Enjoy the singing. Bless you, Jesus. God's goodness, God's mercy. So y'all pray for me and ask the Lord. Let's just pray a moment and we'll ask God to help us. God, I pray that you anoint us and give us your words, Lord. And Lord, that the truth would go forth and, and your anointing and your power, season with love, Lord. And be a blessing and help someone out there today, Lord. Nothing without you, Lord. You're the lamb. Yes, Lord. Thank you, you're the vine. We're the branch, Lord. So we look to you, Lord, right now. Use us and bless us. Let us give you the glory. In your name we pray. We look about us today. This may sound like a, a little uh, foolish thought or whatever, but <laughs> we look at ourselves and we got all kind of different shoes we wear. You know, uh, people's feet's not the prettiest thing in the world. You know, so <laughs> we all wear all kind of different shoes, and some people got big ones like Mark. I got Bless little. Him, I got little bitty ones. You know, and I'm not too big, but we all wear. Uh, shoes and these shoes are different ones and Mark like he's a uh, when he's talking to his kids you know he can say you do this and you do that you clean this or you work do all these kind of things you know when he goes get on his job he has to say yes sir you know that's what we'll do whatever his boss tells him to do Amen. he has to do he has Amen. to change shoes Bless him, boy. he's a daddy at home but he gets at work He's a, he's a, an employee and he has to do what the boss said. Amen. And then when he's a, at home and he's talking to his wife, he has to say, yes, ma'am. You know, he has to change sure his does. shoes. Bless him. <laughs> he said, whatever you say, honey. You know? And he has to change shoes. And uh, that's the way it is with all of us. We have a lot of different shoes to wear in different places. We're at home, you know, we may be a dad, we may be a granddad, we may be an employee. We have a wife and you know and you have to uh the wife's happy they say everybody's happy you know if mom's happy so we have to change shoes from time to time Amen. and that's what i was thinking about christ when he came here on earth i'm going to read from saint matthew 27 starting at verse 11 and jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him saying art thou the king of the jews and jesus said unto him thou says and when he was accused of the chief priests and elders he answered nothing then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witnessed against thee? And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Why would the, uh, Christ not answer or not speak up? Because he is wearing the shoes of the Lamb. Amen. And Isaiah said in Isaiah 53 and, and uh, 7, the, the Bible says, He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shears is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was wearing the shoes of the lamb at that time, so Amen. he was to be silent, and he did. He fulfilled that calling. It took, uh, Peter talked about a lamb without blemish or spot, you know. And that's what he was, a lamb that had to be, you know, pure, had to be perfect, Amen. had to be sinless. And all of us today, as we're here in this room or anywhere in the world, None of us can hold up our hand and say, I never sinned. But we all have to hold up our, our hands and say, I'm guilty. Amen. Romans 6 and Romans 3 and 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So we've all sinned. And so we have all are guilty. And Christ had to be that lamb. The only one that could have fulfilled that calling and have fulfilled that mission was Jesus Christ because He was the only one that was sinless. So He was quiet. And he held his peace and didn't say anything because he had the shoes of the Lamb on. And he was wearing those shoes and he wore them. And I thank God that he did. I thank God for Calvary. And I thank God that the price that he paid and what he did. There's a song that says, Oh, the love that drew salvation's plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God disbanded at Calvary. It was that love that caused him to die. Amen. He said, No man taketh it from me. I lay it down on myself. I have power to lay it down. I have power to take it again. Amen. And then Amen. he laid it down. No one took his life Amen. for him. 
It was the love that He had for you and the love that He had for me. He became the sacrificial lamb. He became the sin debt. He became the, the propitiation for the sins of the world. He became the lamb that would die and shed His blood that others might be saved. It was because of His love. The Roman government uh, didn't have the power. The Sadducees, the Pharisees, the religious leaders didn't have the power to crucify Him. But He willingly laid down His life because He loved each and every one of us. Amen. He loves you today. He loves me today. It doesn't matter what we've done. You Thank know, a lot Lord. of people are down in sin and down in the pit. But what did the psalmist say? He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. Out of the mired clay and set my feet Amen. upon a rock and established my going. So you may be in sin, but Jesus Christ, the Lamb, paid the debt. He opened Amen. the door of grace. He opened the door of mercy. He built a bridge that nobody else could Amen. build that you and I might be saved. So love drew, you know, uh, fulfilled this, brought this salvation plan. And it was grace that brought it down to man. Amen. What does the Bible say? We're saved by grace through faith and not that of yourself. It is the gift of God. We're saved by the grace of God. What is grace? Unmerited favor that I don't deserve. You don't deserve. The world don't deserve. No one deserves. But yet Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, Amen. the Holy One, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Amen. He laid down His life that Amen. you and I might be saved and have Jesus and have eternal life. Amen. So it was the grace of God. You didn't deserve salvation. I didn't deserve it. No one deserves it. But Jesus Christ, by His grace, what is the song of say amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost but I am found I was blind but now I see Amen. because of Jesus Christ because of the lamb wore the shoes and fulfilled the calling you and I have the privilege we have today to lift up the name of Jesus and to be saved by his grace Amen. and by his goodness there was a bridge a great gulf between man and Jesus and between God who built that bridge Jesus Christ he made it possible for each one of us to be able to be reconciled back to the Father. We were separated by sin, but Jesus paid that debt. He built a bridge that I now can come across and I can Amen. have fellowship with God. Yeah. I can be a son Amen. of God. You can Amen. be a daughter of God. You can be a child of God because of Jesus Christ and the Lamb of God today. So I hope you realize what Calvary and what this season we celebrate is all about. It's about Jesus Christ. It's about the Lamb that was willing to pay the shoes. Amen. He went there without saying a word. He went there and paid the debt that He did not he didn't know the debt, but you and I owe the debt. But the thing about it tonight, or this afternoon, is that He doesn't wear those shoes anymore. He'll never be a sacrificial lamb again. Amen. It'll never happen again. The Roman government need not put up a, a cross for the Savior because He'll never die again. Amen. They'll never have no spikes to drive through His hands again. Oh, They'll God. never cast a spear Amen. into His side again. They'll never crown Him with a crown of thorns again because He's no longer Hallelujah. wearing those shoes. He's wearing the shoes of the Savior. He sits at the right hand of God, making intercession. He said, I have all power in heaven and earth today. Amen. So he's no longer going to wear those shoes. That, as He's fulfilled that mission. But He's at the right hand of the Father now, making intercession for you and I. So this afternoon, Jesus wore the shoes of the Lamb Amen. and paid your sin debt, my sin debt. If you're in sin, there's hope. If you're bound, you can be free. If you're in the pit, He can lift you up out of it. If you're blind, He can cause you to see yes. this afternoon. Amen. He is the Lamb, and He is almighty and all holy and all wonderful today. And I thank God that He was willing to wear those shoes and pay the sin debt for each and every one of us today. If He hadn't have paid that debt, you and I wouldn't have the privilege that we have today. Uh, uh, Mark's been singing about that peace. They're talking about that peace. The Bible says it is above understanding. That peace that He said nobody else can give you. Amen. If you're troubled and lost, if you're hurting and sorrowful, if you're broken and bound, there's only one that can reach down His hand. There's only one name, the Bible says, under which man can be saved. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is no other name. There is no other route. There is no other door. There is no other escape. There's only one, and His name is Jesus Christ this Amen. afternoon. If you're going to make it, you're going to come through Him. What did He say? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by Me. Amen. Mohammed won't do it. Buddha can't do it. None of the others can do it. 
There's only one name that you can call upon if you're lost this afternoon. There's only one blood and one lamb that paid the sin debt. There's only one Amen. blood, as the sister says, can make a black heart white. And that is the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of the living God. Amen. There is none other this afternoon. There's no other to turn to. So this afternoon, as I thought about it, there's shoes of all kind that we wear. And Jesus had to wear the shoes of the Lamb. Nobody else in the world could wear those shoes. He was the only one that never sinned. Amen. We all others, the Bible sin to come short of the glory of God. What did the Bible say about sin? For the wages of sin is death. But Amen. the gift of God is eternal life Amen. through Jesus Christ our Lord. There's hope this afternoon. There's a light this afternoon. There's a way out this afternoon. There's hope Amen. for you and I this afternoon Amen. through Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Amen. And there is no other that we can look to. No man, no power here on earth or anywhere else that can save you this afternoon. But the grace of God can give you that unmerited favor that you don't deserve. His mercy can rescue you and, re and call you and, uh, and cause you to be saved and rescue the perishing this afternoon. Amen. I thank God for that. He was willing to wear those shoes for you and I this afternoon. I hope I've said something, maybe been a blessing as we think about Easter. And we went to see our my brother-in-law yesterday. He was dying. We got the news that he passed away about 3 o'clock uh, last night up in uh, Spencer, Tennessee. He was a minister of the gospel. Amen. Thank God he went home on Easter. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb. He went to meet the Master he had worked for and had loved Him had died for Him. The one that He loved to talk about, uh, you know, about all the time. The one that He preached about. But now He sees Him face to face. Amen. Now He's in His Amen. presence. The Lamb that paid His sin Amen. death has opened the door of heaven and He's walked in to the glory world. And Amen. I thank God for that this afternoon. I'm going to get ready to turn it back to Brother Mark. I hope I said something. Maybe it's been a blessing to you this afternoon. Amen.